Despite two losses in their last three games to Georgia State, South Alabama's quarterback Bilal Marshall is your Heisman Trophy winner, and you can see Georgia State has been selected to play in the New Orleans Bowl against the Rice Owls. This is the second time in three years that Georgia State has participated in the New Orleans Bowl, winning it two years ago. And you can take a look at the Bulls, or the rest of the Bulls here, and you can see South Alabama will be playing Ohio in the GoDaddy.com Bowl, and Georgia Tech faces off against Clemson in the National Championship. Take a look at the All-Americans here. We had a couple first team, a couple second team. This was all NCAA. I figured I would go through this, but not the all Sun Belt. I figured we'd have plenty of all Sun Belt, but nonetheless, you saw Scott Powers and Kyler Neal up on the first team, and you're going to see Joseph Peterson on the second team. So we uh, were pretty well represented. The freshman we did get Paul Walker on there, our freshman stand on wide receivers. So that was good to see. And I don't think oh, we did get Antonio Hoff on there in the defensive back or in the secondary. So that's good. Well represented on the All Americans. That is always nice to see. And we're playing Rice in the New Orleans Bowl from a New Orleans, Louisiana in the Mercedes-Benz Superdome. Like I said, second time in three years that we've been here, and we're looking forward to hopefully another victory. It'd be nice to win two bowl games in three years. We did lose last year to the B to the Auburn Tigers in the BBVA Compass Bowl. Miles Morris is out this week and for the next three weeks, although it won't really matter. He's basically out for the season with a broken collarbone that he did suffer in the conference championship. And you can see they're going to miss their wide receiver, Dennis Parks. So, let's get this underway. The Rice Temple Owls on the quarterback drive is Jackson going to drop back on third and ten. He gets rushed, and we came out in our nickel formation. That led to Scott Powers being an edge rusher, and he comes off and makes the nice tackle right there. For the sack, Cameron Melton on the ensuing punt return. Nice return right here for about 12 yards. Gets inside of the 35-yard line. We're going to take over Ben McLean on third and ten. Going to drop back. He's looking deep, and that was a great undercut of the route by Blasen Game. He makes the interception. That's going to be the first turnover of the ball game for either side. Rice will take over. Now about on their 50 or so. Here we go. Travis Jackson going to drop back. Looking for Russell Washington over the middle. He will be brought down by Ladarian Young, but not before he picks up 28 yards on the reception. So now third and 10. I formation. Jackson going to drop back. Looking left side. That's caught by Washington. End zone. Touchdown. A 21-yard touchdown for Russell Washington from a beautiful pass from Travis Jackson. That is going to give Rice the lead, the first lead of the game for either side with 127 to play in the first quarter. Take a look at the replay. Great catch from Russell Washington. Just completely beat our man off of the play. We're going to miss Miles Morris. That's for sure. Miles Morris is a pretty pretty good player for us in our secondary. And having to substitute in someone for him, that's going to be a, uh, a tough thing to overcome. But Kyler Neal picking up a nice seven-yard carry. Now McLean looking right side. Caught by Rufus Warren. He's going to spin around this defender and pick up the first down as well as about seven yards on the play. So now inside of the minutes playing the first quarter. Shotgun set. McLean is going to drop back. Looking right side. Caught by Paul Walker on the curl. Right. Breaks the tackle and picks up a nice 20-yard gain. That's going to get us inside of the 40-yard line. Now shotgun set. McLean going to look to go deep once again. He's been intercepted once doing this. And that was just a pathetic throw right there. A terrible throw. Completely overthrew the guy. There was a tight window to fit it in there. And man, did Ben McLean miss that. I will take the blame for the first interception, but not for that one. And that was just an awful throw from Ben McLean. So third and 11 for Travis Jackson on the Rice Owls in the ensuing drive. Looking right side, almost intercepted by Robert Dowling. But that will force Fort down. They're going to punt it away. We take over 747 to play in the second quarter. Hand up to Kylie Neal, six-yard carry for the sophomore standout. Here we go, second and four. It's going to be a read option. McLean will keep this one. Sheds off his own tackle and he ends up fumbling. He tried to die for the first down and Furman stripped him. The same man who just got the last interception gets the fumble, the strip, and the recovery. So here comes Rice taking over from about the 35 yard line. Dreyfus Jackson on third and eight. Fires this one deep and it is off the hands of Russell Washington and into the lap of Ladarian Young. We catch a break right there. Washington almost had a clear touchdown right there. But we'll take it. We get the ball back. Six minutes to play. Second and six. McLean going to drop back. Take a deep drop back here. Finally fires it. And that's going to be caught by Ross Jackson for the first down. A 12-yard gainer for the for another sophomore. Standard. We have a lot of good sophomores on our team. Our recruiting class from a couple years ago. <laughs> Looking pretty good right up now. But Paul Walker down the sideline. He's going to get inside of the 30-yard line on a nice catch and run from the freshman. All NCAA freshman. First team, of course, and now here we go. Ross Jackson is going to make the curl route catch right there, pick up nine yards. That's going to set up third and two. We're going to get the first down later on. Now first and ten. Left side, Jackson wide open, breaks the tackle and picks up the touchdown. A 13-yard touchdown reception for Ross Jackson, and we are back in this ballgame as we will tie it up after the ensuing PAT. Take a look at Ross Jackson celebrating with his teammates as always. So here we go now. 
Still in the second quarter, 307 to play. Reed option. McLean will keep it looking for a block. Picks it up from Rufus Warren. Cuts up the field and will pick up a nice 15 yard gain from Ben McLean. The not so speedy Ben McLean. First and 10 inside of three minutes to play in the second quarter. McLean left side. Caught by Ross Jackson. Risky throw right there, but Jackson is great on the slant routes. Are reeling those ones in. Now McLean dropping back. Feels the rush. Scrambles to his right. He's going to take off now. Looking for a block. He's going to pick it up from Wagner and pick up the first down. A 12 yard carry. For the senior in his last college football game ever. Now a handoff to Kyler Neal. Inside for the score. That will make it a 14-7 ball game. As Ben McClain and Kyler Neal both getting it done now on offense. After a couple early turnovers. McClain has really settled down and settled in. Travis Jackson left side. That's going to be hauled in by Mario Hole. A 22-yard gainer for the Rice Owls. Now inside of two minutes to play. Trying to make a drive right here and tie this ball game up. Over the middle caught by Mario Hole once again. Breaks a tackle. Breaks another. And he could be gone. Dallas chasing Hole is going to get into the end zone for the touchdown. How do you let a guy like that break two tackles and get all the way in? I don't know. Great catch and run by Mario Hole. But oh my goodness, that was a bad play defensively. And Rice has tied up this ball game now as it's 14 all. Here we go now. Ben McLean going to drop back first and 10. He's going to look deep here. He's got a man. And it's going to be caught by Paul Walker who broke the press coverage. It turned out to be a zone press, which is never a good idea when you're running... Or when the opposing team's running four verticals. So here we go. McLean looking left side. Caught by Justin Wagner on the down and out. Wagner's going to break a tackle. Almost get in. That'll set up first and goal from about the one yard line after the 21 yard pickup. Now we're going to go play action here. McLean scrambling to the right. He's going to flip this one to Kyle Walker, the fullback. And that is going to be a touchdown for Georgia State. But credit that one is a zero yard reception. But we'll take it. 21 to 14 is the score heading into the half after a shaky start. Georgia State makes a nice effort to make a comeback, and we retake the lead. So we're going suing kickoff to start out the second half. Cameron Melton on the left side. He's going to get a blocker. He's got the sideline, and Huff is in front of him. He's going to get to the 40-35. He's finally going to be brought down at about the 30-yard line, but a nice 65-yard return for the freshman Cameron Melton. And now McLean is going to scramble to the right on the play action. He's going to end up chucking this one up to the end zone. A great toss from Ben McLean. Perfect touch on that one. Throwing it over the defense, finding Ross Jackson who got himself behind the defense. And that is going to make it now a 28-14 game. Ensuing drive for Rice. Dreyfus Jackson on the read option. Breaks a couple tackles right here and picks up the first down on the 10-yard rush. Now first and 10 for Dreyfus Jackson. He's going to end up scrambling, stepping up at the pocket. He will evade the rush, but he fumbles. It is recovered by Connor Sella. Or Kel, I think it's Sella, but I don't know. Nonetheless, first and 10, Dreyfus Jackson is going to keep it once again on the read option. He's got himself a first down, and that is going to continue the drive for the Rice Owls. Still down 14 points, but driving here on this Georgia State defense. Jackson's going to scramble to the right side. He's going to evade a tackler, getting it done with his feet right now. He's been efficient through the air, but he's really exploiting this defense, finding the holes when he takes off. Here he goes again. This time he's going to fumble once again, and it's actually going to be recovered by Trey Martin. That'll set up fourth and five, so here comes the kicking unit for the Rice Owls. This kick is up and good, and that's going to make it a 28-17 to ball game. So still an 11-point game, still a two-possession game, but Rice is hanging in there against the number 10 team in the country. Kyler Neal bouncing to the outside after cutting up the middle. He gets a nice 12-yard carry right there. That's going to set up third and 10 now later in the drive. Ben McLean going to drop back. Nice touch on this pass, and he fits that one into the window. Justin Wagner makes the catch on the sideline. Looks like the defender could have made a play on that, but we'll take it nonetheless. Now looking deep. Beautiful throw. That is a dime if I've ever seen one. Right into the hands of Kyler Neal, right over the linebacker. Great pitch and catch. Now McLean feeling the rush, chucking it deep. Now I will admit we got a little bit lucky right there. That's going to be another 26-yard touchdown for Justin Wagner. McLean with four touchdowns on the day. He has really stepped it up after a slow start, committing three turnovers in the first quarter. But here come the Rice Owls. They need to get something going here if they want to stay in this ball game. And now Rice continue this drive first and 10. It's going to be play action. It'll be a read option. Dreyfus Jackson keeps it up the middle, and there he goes. Craig Harris finally brings him down, but not before a 29-yard carry. For the stud quarterback from Rice. Now Jackson once again is going to scramble. But this time he's going to get brought down. Fourth and seven coming up. And they're going to go for it. It's desperate times for this Rice team. Down by 18 now against Georgia State. But there we go. A nice pitch and catch from uh, Travis Jackson to Derek Brown. 22-yard gainer. I formation handoff to Luke Turner. We haven't seen a lot of him today. But he does get the one-yard rushing touchdown. That's going to make it 35-23. And now they're going to go for two to try and make it a 10-point game. I would wait till the next touchdown to go for two, but that's just me. And that's going to be incomplete. Nice play on the ball by Antonio Huff. That's going to set up now a 12-point lead for the Georgia State Panthers now. And they're going to look deep. Here we go. And Justin Wagner getting behind the defense once again. He's done a great job of getting open all game long. 
The play action's been there. We've been running the ball effectively in the second half, and that has really opened up the play action pass. Something that I have not taken advantage of nearly enough in recent games. But here we go, Kyler Neal up the middle, picking up the first down. Nice. Actually, he's not going to pick up the first down, excuse me, but he gets 10 yards. Great piece of running right there from Neal. Now it's going to be McLean on the read option keeper. He's going to end up getting spun around right there, but picks up 7 yards. First and goal now inside of the 5, and it looks like a touchdown here could put this game away. It'll be a handoff to Neal to the outside. He's got a block. Check out the great block by the offensive lineman right there. He makes it 42 to 23, and this game is all but over under 5 to play. Georgia State with the ensuing PAT will go up by 19 points. That is 3 possessions, not nearly enough time, unless a miracle can happen for Rice to come back. But Drivers Jackson can do all he can looking over the middle. That is going to be caught by his man, Alaka, right there. Some interesting names on this Rice team. Tammy Alaka with the 29-yard gainer. Now Jackson looking over the middle, caught by Russell Washington. And Washington is off to the race. He's going to get brought down at about the 15. But a nice catch and run. Here we go. Jackson going to drop back. Now over the middle, caught by Mario Hole. And Hole is going to just get stopped short of the end zone. 15-yard gainer. Now on second and goal. Shotgun set after losing a couple yards on first and goal. Jackson almost intercepted. That was dangerous, but Connor Sella makes the catch. Touchdown Rice. That makes it 42-30 now. As you'll see, Connor Sella getting into the end zone. This Rice offense has had a lot of success against the Georgia State defense, exposing some holes. But here we go. This onside kick with all but needed now. Down by 12. That's two touchdowns. Wagner gets the recovery. He's going to run out the clock a little bit here, trying to give myself some space and also just trying to run out some clock. Hot dogging in a little bit. We'll tack on a touchdown with five seconds to play. That will make it 49 to 30. And that's going to be the final score. Kylie Neal tops it off with another rushing touchdown, and we win this ball game 49 to 30. New Orleans Bowl champs. And that's going to do it for me. I'll leave this stat line up for you guys. But that's going to do it. I want to thank you guys for watching. I hope you did enjoy. And it doesn't matter. Peace.